Hey, rather quick video today. Um, it's about getting SVG icons into your Webflow project. So for this demo, I created these three, um, I think pretty nice looking buttons. And each of them have a social icon in this case that I want to import as an SVG into Webflow. Now there is multiple ways to get such an SVG into Webflow. Um, so I could, for example, take this and export it here in Figma, maybe select SVG to get a crisp uh, image and use that in my project. Now, to show you guys why I don't like that approach, I've gone ahead and done this for the Facebook icon. So if I drag it in here, you'd see it, you think all is fine, right? I've got a crisp image, it has the same color, but exactly that, the color is where things could get um, annoying. If you wanna scale your project, maybe you will have to create a different color version of a certain uh, module. Maybe you've got like a dark and light mode footer with social icons in it. And you're like, nice, in my dark mode footer, I'll just make it all black and make the text white. So if we try that, for example, now in my button, if I change the color, um, my SVG image won't change color. So I would have to re-export it in a different color, manage the states differently, and it's just not very convenient. So the solution is to use an actual HTML SVG element. Now there is apps as well in Webflow to copy your SVG from Figma into Webflow, but it just takes a little longer because it has to load. And I'm not biased at all by saying this, but becoming a member on Osmo grants you access to our icon libraries as well, which currently has over 150 of them, um, very specific ones and very uh, global ones. So for example, if I look for the Facebook icon, I can in here in my quick search module, use the copy to Webflow button, head to my project and paste it in here. If we look at the layers, I now have an actual HTML SVG element with a path inside, and the path has a fill of current color, meaning that if I now on my button would change its font color, the SVG would change color as well, which is a great feature and it's just much nicer to work with this um, approach for SVGs. So to show how fast this can be for your workflow, we could copy the Instagram one, head back to the icon library, take the YouTube one, copy it and paste it in here and we're done. Now, of course, becoming a member on Osmo is a whole lot more than just these icons, but if you wanna give this a try, in the description below, there is a code called Osmo10. And if you use that during checkout, we'll give you a 10% discount on your first subscription. Um, so make sure to check it out if you're interested. We'll grant you access to this full vault of resources and animations and a whole bunch of cool and advanced stuff, not just for Webflow users, also people that like access to the raw HTML and CSS. But I guess since you've clicked on this video, there is a very high chance you're a Webflow user. Um, so yeah, ask any questions if you want in the, in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.